How to screen record for free with OBS, also known as Open Broadcaster Software. The first thing you'll need to do is open up your browser and then navigate to the following URL https colon slash slash obsproject.com. Once you're here, you'll need to select the appropriate version of OBS Studio for your operating system. I'm on PC and running Windows, so I'm going to go with Windows here. So all you need to do is left click on Windows which is what I'm going to do here. And then the download should start. Just give it a few minutes or seconds, depending on your internet connection. And I'll be back with you once the download has been completed. Once OBS Studio has finished downloaded, now we need to open up the installer. So navigate to the bottom here and left click on this arrow. Now click open and you'll open up the installer. Once the installer has opened, it's time to begin installing OBS. Click next. Click next again, select the destination folder. I'm going to go with the default destination folder and then click install and OBS Studio will begin installing. Once that's completed, make sure launch OBS Studio is ticked and then click finish and OBS Studio should open. All right guys, once OBS Studio has opened, you'll be greeted with the auto configuration wizard. Click on yes. And now you'll have two options. The first option is to optimize for streaming. Recording is secondary. And the second option is optimize just for recording. I will not be streaming. You're going to select the second option here as you want to record your screen. Once you've done that, click next. All right, you'll be on the video settings now. So I'm just going to stretch this out a bit because I find the text hard to read. All right, there we go. So we have the option to select our resolution and our frames per second. So I'm not going to change the resolution as I'm happy with 1080p. As for the FPS, I'm not happy with either 60 or 30. I'm going to have a preference. I'm going to go with 60. So just left click on this arrow here and then pick 60 if 60 is what you want. Once you've done that, hit next. You'll then be greeted with the final results of which I'm quite happy with. I'm just going to click apply settings. Once you've done that, just maximize your OBS Studio window here. So I'm just going to left click on that just to maximize it. And now it's time to configure your OBS Studio in regards to the sources and the output. So let's do the output first. So I'm going to go to settings here and then I'm going to left click on output. In the output, we're going to be configuring the recording path destination. This is where your video files will save. I'm going to change this. So where it says recording path, you're just going to left click on browse. And then I like to go with the desktop. However, you can choose any folder that you like. So I'm just going to left click on desktop here and then click select folder. So now this is where our video files will save to. So I'm just going to click apply and then click OK. Once you've configured your output settings, it's time to tell OBS what your audio is and what window you'd like recorded. So all you need to do is go over to where it says sources here and then right click in this box here. So I'm just going to right click now and then you'll have the option to add. Hover over add and then you'll have a bunch of options where you can add your audio or add display that you'd like to capture or a bunch of other settings. So I'm going to go with audio first. So let's left click on audio input capture, left click on this and then you'll be greeted with a window. Here you can pick a name for your audio. So I'm just going to go with mic one and then I'm going to click on OK. Once you've done that, you'll need to select the audio type. So I'm just going to left click on this arrow here and I only have two options on my PC. This is my plugged in headset right now and this is my stereo mix or basically my computer's built in audio. I'm going to go with my headset mic here. So I'm just going to left click on it and then click OK. So that's our mic audio configured. Now let's do the window that we want to record. So again, go back to sources and right click on this box here and hover over add. Once you're here, left click on display capture. Again, you'll have the option to choose a name. So I'm just going to go with monitor one. Once you've done that, hit OK. And now you'll have the option to select your display. Now I only have one display. However, if you have three, obviously you'll need to pick one to record. So I only have one display. So I'm going to leave it as default, which is my 1080p screen here. And then I'm going to click on OK. Once you've done that guys, you're basically ready to start recording. So let's begin capturing our screen now. So I'm just going to navigate to the bottom right hand corner here and I'm going to left click on start recording. 
and now we're actually recording our screen. So let's minimize this and then minimize it again just to show you our desktop here. All right, great. So we've recorded for a couple of seconds there. Let's go back and open up our OBS Studio here and then stop recording. Now our video should automatically save onto our desktop, which is where we directed OBS Studio to output our video files onto. So I'm just going to minimize OBS now and you should see that we have a video file on our desktop here. Let me just double click on it just to see if it actually did record. Great, so it is working there, guys. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. That pretty much concludes the video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Before I end this video, there's one more thing I forgot to mention when configuring your recording settings, and that is the video output resolution. So to change this, all you need to do is go to your settings here, and then go to video. And as you can see currently, the resolution of the outputted video resolution is 853, x480. So what you should really change this to is the same resolution as your recording resolution. So to change the output resolution, all you need to do is left click on this arrow here and select 1080p. And now your output resolution is the same as your recording resolution. All you need to do is click apply and then OK. Happy recording guys. Why is it so